guys thank you so much for being here i hope you are all doing well so it has been a long time since i have filmed here on this channel life got in the way we got a little bit busy and i fell into a slightly big like creator's block um i felt a little bit uninspired <laughs> for a little while but i am back again i hope you guys are all doing well so i am back with a very exciting video I am going to be showing you everything that I purchased for our upcoming Walt Disney World vacation. Yes, Walt Disney World vacation. I am so excited. If you guys have been here with me for a while, you may know that we had two trips planned for last year and you know, due to the state of the world, we had to cancel those trips. We actually rescheduled both trips for this year and we are just so excited not only to go to Walt Disney World but just to go on a trip <laughs> in general. Um, we haven't been away in a really long time and we're just so excited. So we're going to be traveling to Orlando in just a few short days. I have been gathering a bunch of stuff like I said for myself and for my family and I thought I would share that with you. I have filmed this type of video twice here on my channel and you guys seem to really enjoy them. I love filming them and I also love watching them here on YouTube. I'm not gonna lie, I have so much stuff here to show you. This has been collected over the past few weeks, um, but it's generally a lot because both myself and my daughter needed new summer clothes. My daughter has just been growing so so quickly that she, she needed like a whole new summer wardrobe. Um, I will be sure to link everything down below. I will also leave my previous videos on pre-Disney World vacations in a card above and also down below if you want to go check those out. I think I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, I suggest you get cozy and get yourself something to drink. I have my water ready because this is going to be a lot of talking and generally when a lot of time goes by that I don't film, I not only am super awkward to be back on camera but I tend to talk a lot. <laughs> I have a lot of clothing, I have some travel accessories, and then my favorite things that I purchased were a bunch of stuff for my daughter's carry-on bag. I had so much fun shopping for her for this trip, so I have a bunch of fun new stuff that I'm very excited to show you. Before I really get into it, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Tiffany. I am a mother to a four-year-old, soon to be five-year-old. I'm married to my husband, Matthew, and I love making all sorts of content on this channel, a bunch of different things that I enjoy. I love Disney, I love packing, I love diaper bag reviews and things like that. So I invite you to look around and if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join me here in my little corner on YouTube. With that all out of the way, get cozy and uh, let's get into the haul. Also, if you can hear the outside and the birds, I had to open a window because it's very hot outside and I always insist on wearing a hoodie no matter the temperature outside. So. My room is very, very hot. First thing are some shoes. I bought a pair of shoes for both my daughter and myself. My daughter, I got her these really cute Nikes. Nikes are my favorite for her as far as walking and playing. And I loved the gray and the pink, super cute. These are in a 13. Like I said, my daughter's four. This just looks huge to me, but she's bigger than your average four-year-old, so <laughs> makes sense. But I thought these were so cute. I got these from I think I got them from Kohl's and then for me I was doing a lot of research on what the most comfortable shoes were for women to wear in the parks and the brand Vans kept popping up a lot. I actually own a pair of Vans and I agree they're very very comfortable. So these are the the Doni, <laughs> I'm not even trying to pronounce that, but they're the triple white so they're just simple all white tennis shoes and they're very clean and I love the look of white tennis shoes with dresses so I think that these would be good for not only like casual outfits but with jeans and then you know obviously with dresses super duper cute I went up a little bit in the size just so I had that room um, so I got eight and a half and they fit me really well but there is a good amount of room left in them so they'll be a little bit more comfortable walking so now that I've shown these to you my daughter and myself can both um, start wearing these so we can break them in before our trip because I learned a very hard lesson that you do not want to break in shoes at Disney. <laughs> I have a bunch of clothing here 
for my daughter. Like I said, she just grew so much this year and she needed all new clothes. So I have a bunch of stuff here. I first have a couple pair of shorts. These are from Target from the Cat and Jack brand. So I just got her these little drawstring um, black shorts. And then these sort of easy pull on sort of like sweat material shorts. Also from Target, I have another pair of those gray shorts. It looks like I got her two at two different times, but that's okay. They're gray. They'll go good with everything. So I got her those. And then I also got her another pair of those drawstring um, shorts, but I got them in like an olive green. I also got her a couple of tank tops um, from Cat and Jack as well. I got her this navy blue and white tank top and then just a simple black one and i like these because they're really cute to just tuck into shorts for her she needed new swimsuits this year so i got her one in her easter basket and then i also got her another one for our trip again from cat and jack i love the cat and jack brand for her very affordable and really really cute stuff so it's just this really cute little one piece i thought this was adorable has the cute little bows and then this i saw this and thought it was so cute I just could not leave it behind it's this adorable tank top like romper and it has the fab five on the front oh it has the cute little bows on there and it's really really thin and breathable so it'll be great for like those super duper hot days in Disney I also got her some clothing from Old Navy Old Navy is one of my favorite places to shop before we go on a vacation because it has a lot of seasonal trendy clothing for a really really good price and they're usually always having sales so she needed some new dresses so i got her a bunch <laughs> the first one is this just little t-shirt um animal print dress my daughter loves animal print i actually bought a matching one for me and her to wear together and i'll show that to you in a minute but so cute i also got her this one which has oranges all over it which I thought was really appropriate for Florida then in the same style I got her this lemon one and I just figured these would be really easy to throw on her when we go to like dinners at night and then I also got her this black and white striped sort of tiered style dress really really cute and then the final dress I got her was the same style that tiered but um, it's sleeveless and it's in red and white and it has a little peephole in the back, which is super cute. And then finally from Old Navy, I got a few um, masks for both her and I. Disney, um, their sort of mask mandate is changing very, very rapidly as the weeks are approaching our trip. Um, I do anticipate us still wearing our masks a majority of the time. So I didn't pick up too many masks because we have a lot already, but I wanted her and I to have a few matching pairs for Animal Kingdom, so I got these little sets from Old Navy and these are really affordable you get five in a pack and I think these are around like three or five dollars super affordable and then I also got her this dress from Hannah Anderson which is one of my favorite shops to buy clothes for her um, it's this little Minnie Mouse t-shirt dress and the bottom has this sort of tulle tulle skirt with these embroidered little white polka dots on there so cute. She's going to wear this on our first full day, which we're going to Magic Kingdom, and I think that's going to be so cute. And Hannah Anderson is pretty expensive, but they usually have a lot of promotions throughout the year. So I was able to get this for, I think, like 50% off. A really, really good deal. And then I also did a little shopping at Kohl's. Um, this may seem like a lot of clothing, and I usually try to get her stuff that even if she doesn't wear them, on the trip she can wear them here at home i got her a bunch of clothing from jumping beans which they have a collaboration with disney so they have a lot of fun disney stuff so i got her this dress which has elsa on there and elsa looks so beautiful on this dress and it has a bunch of sparkles on there i also got her this tutu which if you look closely it has minnie mouse on it this one says i need a mini vacation and then I also got her this one, which says, never stop dreaming. The last things I got from Kohl's were, again, some shorts for her. Like I said, she really needed shorts. So I got her these, um, just slip-on drawstring shorts. And then I got her the same style, but in the, like, chambray blue. And then finally, I got her these, um, like, a little set of two, like, biker shorts. I love these for 
uh, putting on underneath her dresses just for more coverage. So it came with a gray pair and then a white pair. I also made her a few Disney shirts. I borrowed my mother-in-law's Cricut machine and had so much fun learning how to make shirts. Usually I buy shirts from you know, Etsy and stuff like that. But this year I wanted to attempt to make my own, just to sort of save some money and to see how it would turn out. And I had way too much fun <laughs> making these. Um, all of the t-shirts I purchased from Michaels and then all of the designs are SVGs that I purchased off of Etsy. So I will link the SVGs down below if I can find them. So I made her this one. I also made her this one. This one, she said, is her favorite. <laughs> it has Anna and Elsa on there, and it says, making today the perfect day. I also made her this one, which says squad goals with the princesses on there. And then the final one, which says, I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. And even if she doesn't get to wear these on this trip, she can wear them on our next trip, or she'll wear them here at home too. Okay, so moving on to clothing that I purchased for me. I first got these biker shorts from Target. I got these to wear underneath dresses because I do have a couple dresses that I bought that are a little bit shorter and I wanna make sure that I have some coverage. So what I liked about these is that they are four inches, so they're definitely that shorter style, so they won't show um, when you're wearing shorter dresses. So I grabbed those. And then also from Target, this was a little bit of an impulse purchase, but it is really, really cute. It's this little, like muscle tank and it has Mickey on there and it says the original one and only. I purchased a couple of clothing pieces from an online boutique called Pink Lily. I've been purchasing quite a few things from Pink Lily over the past few months and I really really like their vibe and their clothing and their price points. So I got this long midi dress and it's striped. It has like a little pocket right here really really like slinky and stretchy so soft and comfortable it does kind of scoop at the bottom it has like a little scoop slit really really easy to throw on and again super comfortable will be really cute with those white tennis shoes and i really needed a new swim cover up the one i've been wearing for years is so old like when i say old i want to say it's like 12 13 years old I really needed an upgrade and I'm super picky with swim cover-ups but I saw this one on Pink Lily and like knew this was the one so it has all these beautiful palm leaves on there and it has a deep V and it cinches at the waist and you tie it what I liked about this is that it feels kind of silky so it'll be really cute it's a swim cover-up but I think that even with high-waisted denim shorts and a tank top tucked underneath with this over it it really has like a cardigan kimono style feel to it really really nice so I got that um, or both those pieces from Pink Lily also got this striped tank top from Kohl's it's one of those like swing style and I thought this would be really cute tucked into some high-waisted shorts um, really really cute and it was super affordable and then I also got these shorts from the Elsie Lauren Conrad brand I really like her clothing and her vibe um, these are like those high-waisted chambray shorts. They have really cute pockets with a tie. I love these style shorts um, this year, so I got those. Speaking of shorts, um, I bought a lot of shorts this year. I've been on a little bit of a weight loss and fitness journey for the past few months and um, been working really, really hard and went down a few sizes in jeans and shorts so I needed to buy a whole new bunch. I got two pairs from Old Navy. These are both the same style. They're the OG high rise short. I love the way these fit. I love high rise shorts but I also love shorts that have distressing to them. Distressing? I don't know why I said it like that. Um, I love distressed shorts. So the first pair I got has a little bit of a cuff at the bottom with the distressing. Super cute. Very very flattering. These are three inch inseam, which is a little shorter than I like to go, but um, they fit really nice and modest, so that's okay. And then I loved these shorts. These are the same style again, but instead of the rolled up bottom, they have this raw edge hem. Love the way these fit. So I got those from Old Navy. Also from Old Navy, I got, again, that sort of like high-waisted paper bag style shorts. 
in a black. They have like a really cute tie right there. And then I bought these first and loved the way they fit so much that I got the same pair, but I got them in an army green. From Target, I got these highest rise mom shorts from the brand Wild Fable. Again, a little distressing with that raw edge hem. Super cute. And then the final pair of shorts I have here, I think, are from Levi's. I got these from Kohl's, and these are the mid-length shorts. I have purchased this style from Levi's before, and they're so comfortable. The denim is really, really stretchy and thin. They do have that rolled-up hem at the bottom, and they are a little bit longer. I would say they're probably like around a four-inch inseam, so they definitely are a modest pair of shorts. But again, they're super comfortable. These are these are so comfortable that, you know, they're kind of like my comfy mom shorts. So those are all of the shorts that I got. I did purchase a couple dresses from Old Navy. Um, again, I got this animal print dress to match with my daughter. It's a little bit of a shorter style, but it's not too short. It does cinch in the waist, and it's just a simple like t-shirt style dress. I figured that her and I would wear our dresses when we go to Animal Kingdom because that's our favorite park. Um, super cute and easy to throw on. So I got that from Old Navy. And then a similar style, but a little bit of a longer hem is this one. So again, it's the same t-shirt style, cinches in the waist has a little bit of a slit at the bottom, but again, it's a mid-length, so it hits um, up right about the knee on me. So I got it in a gray, and I love the way it fits so much that I got it, the same one in a black. And I'm at a point in my life where if something fits and looks good, uh, and I feel good in it, I usually buy it in a few different colors. The last clothing bits are shirts that I purchased from small shops. Two of them I actually made myself, and again, I will link the SVGs that I used down below. Again, I made these with my Cricut machine. The t-shirts were both purchased from Michaels, so I got this one. It says Magical Mama on the front with like a little Mickey head right there, super cute. And then I made this one, and it says, do you suppose she's the wildflower? And we are going to be there during the Flower and Garden Festival, so I thought this would be really cute to wear when we go to Epcot, because we're going to be going to Epcot, I think, two or three times. I purchased a couple. The first one, and I can't remember the uh, shop's name on this shirt, but I will link it down below. I love the Cinderella movie with Brandy and Whitney Houston. It was one of my favorites growing up, and I still love it to this day, but I've never seen a shirt with those characters on there. So I saw this in another YouTube video and immediately went out and bought it. So it has Brandy and Whitney Houston on there in the golden pumpkin carriage and it says impossible things are happening every day. Love this shirt. I can't wait to wear this. If you haven't seen this movie, it came out when I was a kid. I'm not going to reveal my age, but um, if you haven't seen it, it is on Disney+. Plus. I recommend you watching it one night. And then the final clothing piece I have here is from Stewart Avenue. If you guys have been with me here for a while, you know how much I love Stewart Avenue. She creates embroidered style shirts, and she doesn't just do Disney stuff. She does a lot of other pop culture and movie and show references. So I purchased this design, which is one of her newer ones. I ended up getting it in a tank top style because I figured I would tuck this into some high-waisted shorts, but it says Mama embroidered on the front and it has these really cute little Mickey ears on there. Okay, so moving on to travel items. This video is going to be so long, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'll move through these things pretty quickly, but I purchased some Clorox wipes. That way we can wipe things down in our room. Uh, we needed some sunscreen, so I purchased the Sport Spray Sunscreen. My husband prefers um, like a spray style, so I got just the Target brand, which we've been using for years. And then I also got these little sunscreen sticks for my daughter. Um, I use these too just for, you know, putting on the face. I also got this Sun Bum sunscreen cream. I love this brand and this is what I'm going to be carrying with me in my park bag for all three of us because this will work for all of us. So sunscreen. I also got some hand soap. I like to bring a liquid hand soap because usually hotel rooms only have the bars and I much prefer um, liquid hand soap and so does my little one. So 
got that. Got some lotion for both myself and my daughter. My daughter has super sensitive skin and she has eczema. So we usually share lotion when we go on vacations. That way I don't have to pack two. I thought we would try this. Um, it's just the Vaseline eczema care. Also got a little mini hairspray for myself. This is just the L'Oreal Elnet. Um, I love this hairspray, but it's very expensive. And so I found this in the clearance section for $3. I got some toothbrushes um, for my daughter little pack of two for my husband and I, and then just some toothbrush covers um, for obvious reasons. Got a travel packet of water wipes. This is what I carry in my park bag because they're really good for cleaning hands, cleaning faces. They're super gentle. They're 99% water with a drop of fruit extract. So super gentle for kids. A couple of little makeup bits. Um, I just repurchased my favorite eyeliner. This is the Kat Von D tattoo liner. I love this because it's waterproof and sweat proof. It stays put all day long. I usually get this in the brown, which is in Mad Max brown. Really, really great for Florida. It's never steered me wrong when we go to Disney World. And then I always repurchase a new mascara and my favorite is the Clem Crusher from CoverGirl. And I always pick up a waterproof for Florida because it rains, you swim, and you sweat. So waterproof mascara is the way to go. I also grabbed some hair ties. These are the Invisibobble hair ties. I love these. Got these in the dark brown. I also grabbed this from Target. This is a pack of disposable face masks for kids, and they come in a really nice pink color. My daughter is still gonna wear masks most of the time, and I think that disposable ones are just a little bit more comfortable and breathable, so I got her just this pack and it was in the clearance section for $3 and I think you get like 10 or 12 of them. Also from Target I grabbed a reusable straw from the dollar section. I do bring our own straws into the parks but I figured I would have this one attached to my diaper bag that way I'm not like fumbling through my diaper bag if I need a straw in a pinch so got that from Target. Also from Target this is something new I'm going to be bringing with me to Florida. This is from the brand Noon and these are sport and caffeine like electrolyte water tablets and it says it's packed with electrolytes. Hydration you can feel and these actually have um, a little caffeine boost to them. This is in the cherry limeade flavor. I've heard a lot of things about Noon and I've heard great things from other people. I'm currently using a pack downstairs for when I exercise. For some reason, and I drink water all day in my everyday life, but for some reason when I go to Disney World, I find that I'm drinking a lot less water. Mostly because I'm just so busy eating and getting, you know, Joffrey's and we, you know, we like to, you know, drink alcohol and stuff like that. And so it's just like I'm drinking all these like fruity, heavy things throughout the day and I'm forgetting to drink water. So I'm going to try bringing these with me. Um, and trying them out when we go into restaurants when I get a glass of water I'm just gonna try throwing these in there um, just to make sure that I'm not getting dehydrated which tends to happen we're outside all day walking like 12 to 20 miles a day depending on what we're doing so I'm gonna try these I'll report back and let you guys know I also picked up a small travel umbrella I usually don't bring an umbrella with us we just buy one if we need one but I saw this at TJ Maxx and really thought this size was really, really convenient to carry with me. And it's so small, it's not too heavy. It'll be no trouble to carry this with me into the parks. So I grabbed that in case of a rainy day, we have an umbrella. I also picked up this pill and vitamin case. I purchased this from The Sensible Mama, which is a small shop run by a fellow YouTuber. She came out with these really cute little pill cases and I, for the first time in my whole life, have been consistently taking vitamins every single day. And I don't wanna stop doing that when we're on vacation. So I knew I needed a little pill case and I thought this design was super cute. So it just comes with eight little slots. Really, really simple. It does have like a little slip pocket right here at the top. Um, really, really cute. And it's tiny, it's convenient, it's lightweight. Really great for traveling. I also got these little welly kits for our trip. Again, these were a recommendation from the Sensible Mama. She carries these in her shop. And she also did a very well made detailed video going through all of these cases. I've seen welly products a lot at various different stores, especially Target. And I was always intrigued, but it's very hard to tell what's in them just looking at the packaging. Welly is a first aid brand. I would say they're a little bit more of a higher end first aid brand, but they're still affordable. 
and they make their products in these really cute tins like i said i have a bunch of them their band-aids are amazing my daughter loves them i love them i have one of their large first aid kits in my car just love this company so i purchased these waterproof um band-aids i'm not taking this whole thing with me i'm gonna just take a bunch of these out and bring them on our trip but i thought these would be great because they're waterproof and they'll be great when we're swimming and you know when it rains and stuff like that we won't have to worry about them coming off and then these i'm so excited about these these are the welly travel medicine kits so they make one for children and they make one for adults these are so handy so i did open up the adult one you get all of these different sort of like everyday medications that you would need so there's an anti-diarrheal a gas relief a sleep aid a motion sickness relief and then it also comes with a little tube of ibuprofen you just take these out and rip them and carry some of them in your bag and keep the rest of it in your medicine cabinet or in your hotel room which is what i plan on doing and then i also got the children's one i already dipped into this um, for my daughter but, but this one comes with an allergy relief a stomach soother and a fever relief what i like about these kits is that again they come with sort of like the standard basic medications that you would need for like daily illnesses or problems and i like the idea of carrying these with me when i travel as opposed to bringing like bottles of a bunch of stuff that i usually pack with me like i carry a bottle of benadryl with me a bottle of ibuprofen and everything so having these instead of carrying all those big heavy bottles when we travel i think is a much better option so i purchased those from target really really excited about bringing those with me also from target i grabbed these little like mesh pouches and i figured i would carry these with me in my beach bag when we go to the pool really really cute you get two sizes for three dollars and then the final travel accessory i have here is, uh, is a new luggage tag for my daughter i purchased luggage tags from this small shop it's polka spotted i have one for myself and one for my husband but my daughter needed one so i got her the elsa one what's really cute is you can customize it and put your child's name on there which i like so beautiful and these are really great quality i love this small shop so that's everything you guys i was going to show you what i purchased for my daughter's carry on airport bag but i think i'm going to do that in a separate video because this video is already getting super long so i will film that next and put that in a separate video if you guys want to check that out but yeah that is everything again i will leave everything that i mentioned linked down below i really hope you guys found this helpful and fun we are so excited to go on this trip if you want to follow us on this trip, I will link my Disney Instagram down below. I will be definitely highlighting our trip there. I do post on there daily as well if you want to keep up with me since I don't really post that regularly here on this channel. Um, that's a really good place to follow me because, again, I post on it daily. Thank you guys so much again. It's so nice to be back. And um, I will see you guys very, very soon. Take care.